Hello everyone, Briggs here with Jonathan Retro Roots and we're getting back into Kid Icarus. Alright, we're here in the temple just at the top of the underworld and we're going to try to make it through this one. Um, a little better than we did last time. We don't have that troll, troll David, David, David in distraction here. in here. Even though He's it was enjoyable. Along. It was very enjoyable. Beating puppies with kitties and touching kids' soft spots. So we're going to... Got one on their heads. Let us... You got to eat up in that room. I did. I should have... You know, I'm, I think I'm gonna work a little bit more. I'll try not to try to kill everything instead of moving straight through there. All right. Yeah, I'm already destroying this one. Yeah. This is a bad run. I'm gonna just kill yourself. Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna work it. Try to get through there a little bit. And use it as practice. Let's get these snakes out of the way. It's kind of the same without David being here and berating us. Yeah, but now, now in between our quiet moments, there's nothing but quiet moments. Except for me thinking of him in his underwear and every action he does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so why does he have to throw that? Oh shit! What am I doing? Yeah, you know, just completely. Mm -hmm. nah, I still got to practice it. Practice. Practice. Yeah, that was good practice. Very good. So we're letting Jonathan play because I did like an hour of freaking. 60 parsecs. You made it to how many days on that? 52, 55? 55 days, I think it was. What is your planet? Any bit of, well, I mean, I know you're going to play it more and more. Because that's what you did with 60 seconds. You played that game until it was not fun anymore. Yeah. But I don't know, that one's got so many endings. I wonder. So I guess there's different ways I get off the planet, but. I'm thinking that's what it is. I'm thinking each planet, there's probably like, well, I guess now that I beat it, I guess I can look up alternate endings. Or do I, no, no. Because we got off the planet by not completing the planet mission. Yeah, you got off by the prisoners. Yeah, and I remember in my, my playthrough that I quit so that you could play was, um, it said that I needed to explore the temples and like reunite the heart of the earth. Because one of those transmissions that we, I don't guess we got it. How did that guy get up there? You're going to have to run through him. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Because he's going to plumb you. It's plumb crazy! Oh, I forgot man. about those snakes. Jeez. You can you can jump them now. Oof. Oof. They jump, they're going to fall on these snakes. I'm watching for them. I'm watching Yes, that was good. Oh, why did he got... Oh, why did I do that? Oh, that was plum ridiculous. Eggplant. It's not plums. But there's no good eggplant quotes. <laughs> no, you're right. There is no good eggplant quotes. Maybe you can make up a new one tonight. You gotta crack a few eggplants. Okay. <laughs> oh, what would be a good eggplant? So I killed that first one. Let those go that way. You know, I, I like going all the way underneath. It seems safer. Oh, come on. Stupid snakes. Get out See, I mean, uh, that was risky. Yeah, you do if like you, If you go underneath, underneath you, didn't, you can just kill the three ants. They're super slow moving. They're super slow moving. They're super slow moving. Sound like William Shatner. I'm a rocket man. Space flight. Pack my bags. <laughs> Lay flight. I run straight down as fast as I can. Boom. You know, everybody wants to make fun of him for that, but that's... Whoa. Oh, just fucking go. Go. Oh, oh what was that? You should have warned me. Oh, I blame that on you. Oh, disaster. <laughs> I blame that on you. That was such a good setup, too. Yeah. I... Well, but... obviously, if you've been watching this, you know that that's probably the hardest part of the game we've run into so far. I'm crazy. Dealing with these down. Eggplant wizards or whatever they're called. And the thing is, it's not even about the boss at the end of this level we're trying to get to. He's super easy. You can um, de-lock uh, de him in the corner. He's not hard at all. I mean, I got him like, what, half health and just... See, if you go that way and then you kill that last man yeah, right there. Yeah, I, I see that. And now you just jump. So we learned this way off of speedrun. Because... <sighs> I don't know, it's weird. I used to not watch speedruns of games because I felt like it was just going to make me feel like I suck at the game. But by watching it for, for uh, Friday the 13th, I learned how to beat it. 
And so I pulled one up for me and Jonathan last night, and it showed this guy doing a frame perfect move where he had to like phase through a wall. That was perfect setup. Oof. Snake. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm trying to be. Yes. Not losing any life. Okay. That was very good. I hate those low arcs. Like that. Yes. Cool. All right. Hang on. Oh Damn. no! That back clone. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna let you do. Do one more, then I'll take over. Okay. I'll do one more. But I think I know I can get it. I just need to focus just, on this. Let you talk for a minute. I'm yeah. gonna focus for a second. Focus. Come on. The fact now that you told me I need to talk, I can't think of anything <laughs> to say. What well, we were you were about to talk about something though? Uh, how I started watching speedruns to help me learn how to beat games. Because this is what I do. I play a lot of older games, and God, that's a, you're off. Yeah. Um, I play I play a lot of old games like Super Punch Out and uh, Aladdin for uh, Super Nintendo and for Sega. Um, and I feel like, man, I'm pretty good at this game. I'm kind of blistering through it. And then I feel like, hey, maybe this is one I can speed run. And I go and watch. And like I think I beat the game maybe like an hour and some change, mm -hmm. and I watch the speed runs like thirteen minutes. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, maybe if I learn how to like do, and then like there's just like Aladdin. There's a level where you have to swing from the poles across the whole thing, kind of like um. Uh, did you ever play Lion King? I did. And you remember that thing where you're in there with the elephants and the monkeys have to throw you? Yeah. Well, somebody like memorized that. And I'm just. I say I can't memorize the patterns, but at the same time, I memorized Gumshoe, I memorized this game. That was very close. Yes, it was. Just fuck it, go. God, it's the snakes. Oh! I think the dumbest thing in games that Oof. that I can acknowledge is that I thought, and sometimes they do change, but I thought when I saw the same game for a different system, it was a different game. Which a lot of times led me to running the same game twice. Because, you know, there were some that went across all the platforms. Aladdin. Um, I don't think Lion King did. Uh, well, there's a game I want to play. That's, actually, actually, there's a two-player game. Uh, Mickey Mouse and Illusion. Yeah. Actually, I remember playing that game. It was actually very Castle, good. Castle of Illusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually a good game. Oh, for me, I thought that was the eggplant room. Sock yourself out. Yeah, about shit in my way. Well, we gotta figure out how to beat that. Maybe if you stand underneath that one and jump as it comes up. I think that's it. Yeah, yeah. So stand on the edge and then jump as that one comes up. Now. Oh, okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Kind of how we jump when that one comes up. It's the same concept. Okay. Alright, rush room and then exit. Oh, place. I just went back to the door. <laughs> You know, and these have a different pattern every time you do it. You're, you're good. You're good. You're good. I know. I know. I got it. Hey, plants. I don't... I'm not sure how to do Kill the guy on top. It's as long as we stayed in this room without being an eggplant. <sighs> yes. But I see... I see you can't hit that guy no matter what. The bottom guy's done. So you gotta... So the only thing I can think of is dodge the bottom's attack and then try to either damage if through... If we can... Yeah. If we can make it there, let's not lose as much life so that we can make it there. And we can get hit once by that top guy. If yeah. We get hit by the eggplant, just get the fuck away from him. If we can get right past Damage all boost through him and everything. Oh, we had it, man. Yeah. It's your turn for a moment. All right. He's getting frustrated. You want to do some getting over it with Bennett following? No, no, no. Nope. You have not one, You have not even spoken of that game. Nope. I don't want no getting over it. Just the whole mouse thing. Um, you remember Rainy? Are you going to give me a controller? Yeah. <laughs> so, you get the golden pot for beating it. And, and what does the golden pot get you? Does it make it easier? No, it's just a no, Well, pot. then fuck it. Well, what I wanted to do was like try to trick you into playing it. Mm -hmm. And be like, hey, your pot's gold. Be like, yeah, they give that to people who just beat the game. And then you're like, did you beat the game? And Because I, I wanted to beat the game just to fuck mm -hmm. with you, but then... But then you couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Yeah, there's... I mean, I know it. You That's know. a hard game. Like, I got better at it, and I actually enjoy it. It doesn't frustrate me that bad. I'm not saying it's a... 
Wow, bad game. It's just that it's intentionally made to to piss you the fuck off. With the old folk music, and I think that, and he knows he does it, but him talking to you so calm and soothing, going, "Hey, you know, failure is like building a mountain around success." And behind your eyes, shut the fuck up. Uh, we really need to make it through here so that we can get to the because those other levels wasn't that bad. No, just the damn snow level with the Yetis. Yeah, we hadn't made it past the, the, the big, I think level we, two. We put yet. a lot of stuff on us because we were so focused on that barrel and keeping um, and keeping your wand, which but we I, don't I, have now. Yeah, so. so what does it matter? And I mean, did the wand really do that much for us? Not really. Well, I mean, it was helpful knocking off some of those enemies. You remember? Yeah, it didn't help in the rush room. That's for sure. Oh no, it was you completely useless in there. Oh damn! I should have committed for. Yeah. So you're, you're kind of rusty like I was. Yeah. It's a little bit rusty coming in here. We should, probably should have practiced a little bit. Gotten used to what we were doing. It's a very Japanese thing if you think about it. An eggplant wizard. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's very strange. Why, why would, where did the eggplant wizard come from? That sounds like somebody like, well, what's in this I room? Mean, we're looking at a, like a Greek. Yeah, and that's very... I mean, wait, well, eggplants are Greek, right? Well, I, I, hell, I don't know. But was there an eggplant wizard in, in Greek mythology? mythology? It, yeah, it was Eggplanicus. we're working our way up to Medusa. That's the final uh, boss. And like you said, there was like a Severus dog at the end of this level, right? That mm -hmm. we killed. So, so, I mean, it, and apparently Zeus is the one that's given us all our uh, weapons. So, wow. I don't think he was paying attention when that was. Uh, I was going to shoot the gap, but... All right. But you missed. I missed. So, if we can't do... For some reason, we're just playing crappy tonight, and we can't make it past to past here. Maybe it is wise to go get a, a bottle. See, then... This is where we got to last night. We did this for a while, and we're like, we debated. We're, we're like, we're like, why aren't we trying to speed run this? Let's go stack and get energy. But then I think we came to the conclusion that it really wasn't a health issue; it was a turn into an eggplant issue. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely an eggplant issue. Those I mean, health, health wise, we're doing good. Those sorry motherfuckers are a nightmare. Because they have the high arc and the low arc, and you don't know what you're going to get when they come in the room. You it's never a very know. unpredictable. See, low arc for both of them that way. Now you're stuck wondering if you're going to get hit. Very good, though. You did excellent. So that was two rooms, right? Yeah, excellent. For the eggplant was <laughs> No, you did excellent. Let's see what you did there. It was very punny. But, like, even getting past... Oh, gosh. I hate when the swords are coming out. It's all on pattern in that yeah. one. Sometimes the swords aren't coming out and you don't get hit. And then sometimes they do come out as you're moving and you always you can't avoid it. So I think this sword... Yeah, we got to work on this room and figure out. That was it. Perfect. That's what I was saying last time. It's just like this one. It's just opposite. There you go. Good job. Good job. Yay! Eggplants. Fuck it. I'll get deboosted. Yep. Well, we, don't, we can deal with it now. Yeah. All right, same deal. Yep. Stand right here as soon as it comes up. Jump. Yay! So the dog should be right here. Uh, wasn't there a room or two? I think we had to go down. Down and to the right. And this guy takes several hits. All right. Here we go. Come on. Let's do this Ah, oh, jeez. There we go. You're doing it. You're doing it. So is it a three-headed dragon or a three-headed dog? I think it's three-headed dog. Yay! Yes. All right. Woo. Now we can't punt. All right. I think that's a good place to stop the video, don't you? That's a perfect place to stop the video. We can move on to the next level. All right, guys. Brandon, this is Jonathan. See you next time.